In today's video, we're going to be using Autodesk Inventor to create ourselves a one by one Lego brick. Looks just like the one you can see on your screen now. It's just one little stud on top. It's hollowed out underneath. It's a fairly simple brick compared to what we have been making in other tutorials. So let's get started by going up to our file menu today, hitting the new option here, choosing a metric template and choosing a standard millimeter part. Let's click create. Now, to get started today, we need to go at the top to our ribbon and start a new 2D sketch. And we want to start work on the YZ plane. So this one that's a bit more to the right. Okay, just hold down the mouse wheel and just move the center point across a little bit. And we're going to use our rectangle tool to start with to draw our first shape. So click on the center point, drag your mouse out. The height that you want for this shape is 9mm. The width is 8mm. Okay, press tab to switch between those two dimension boxes and press enter when you're done. Uh, you can finish your sketch now. This is basically our Lego brick. It just needs extruding to make it 3D. So go up the ribbon, click extrude, and make it 8 mils. So in the distance box, just type 8, click OK. And there's our Lego brick looking pretty good already. On top of the Lego brick, we've got to put our little stud on. So just start another 2D sketch. Click on the top face of the Lego brick there. And we want to draw a circle smack bang in the center. Okay, the way I'm going to find the center is by using the line tool and turning construction lines on. Okay, when I turn this construction button on, it allows me to draw lines that actually come out as dashed lines and will just be guides basically that will help me find the center point of this shape. They won't actually appear in my final design. Okay, so you've just got to do an intersection like that it's right over the center of the shape. Grab your circle tool up the top now, turn construction lines back off. Okay, we actually do want this circle to appear in our final design, so make sure you've got construction lines turned off. And over that intersection, you'll see the little green dot appear underneath your mouse, which shows you that you've got the center point. Type four millimeters into the box and press enter. Finish the sketch, click extrude, and just extrude that little circle 1.7 mils. The distance there needs to be 1.7. Click OK once you've got that. And you can see that our Lego brick's looking pretty good already. Last thing we want to do is flip it over to the underside and just hollow out this base. Quick way to do that is go up to your ribbon and choose the shell option here. Okay, and just click on this bottom base. The thickness you want to make is 0.8 mils and click OK. And that has now hollowed out the inside of our Lego brick for us. So that's going to allow it to snap onto other bricks. So that's our one by one brick done. The last thing I'd like to do is just color it in. Just go up to your little adjust option here. I'm just going to click and drag over the top of this Lego brick and pick a color for it. So I'm going to just stick with the blue, press the green tick, and that applies the color to all sides of our Lego brick. So that's our part done. Let's hit the save disk up the top. And I might just call this example one by one. Click on save. All right. And the next thing you want to do is um, do an orthographic sketch of this design. So I'm going to go to the file menu. Make sure you've got no other tabs open down here, by the way. You just want this one block open. We're going to go to our file menu, choose the new option, and in the metric templates, scroll down and choose the ANSI millimeter drawing. Okay, make sure in the drawing section. And up comes our um, sheet that we can actually draw the orthographic view on. So, to start with up in the ribbon, click the base option up here. That's going to put your front or the front view of your Lego brick into um, your sketch here. Clicking to the left, uh, sorry, to the right, we get the side view. Clicking above will give you the top view. And up in the top right, it's going to give us the isometric view. And that's good. So click on, oh, actually, I might make it a little bit smaller. I might make it about 15 to 1 the scale. Just a little bit too big. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Starting with our isometric drawing over here on the right, that's view number 4. Just double click on the little icon next to it. Change its name in capital letters. I want you to write isometric view. 
toggle its visibility to on. Just edit the text to make it a little bit bigger. So just highlight all the text in that box and choose the 6.10 mil. And we are going to click shaded just here to turn on the colors for it in a moment. And the scale, let's make it 20 to 1. Let's see how that looks. It's a good size. We'll click OK. You can see that we've got our name written just below it, and it's come out a little bit bigger, which is good. Doing the other views now, let's start with view number one. Double click on the icon next to that, toggle its visibility on, and just give it the name front view. Edit that text, we'll delete the scale, just leave the view and make it 6.1. Click OK, click OK. Same again for view two. Double click on the little icon next to view two in your browser. Toggle the visibility on so we can see the caption. This is the side view of our shape. Um, with the side view, just want to edit that text, delete the scale like usual, and make the view text a little bit larger. Finally, view number three is the top view. So turn its visibility on, write the words top view, Edit the text there and delete the scale. Just highlight the word view and make the text a little bit bigger. Click OK and click OK. And you've now got each side labelled. Down the bottom right corner, just give it a title here. So in the Annotate tab at the top of your page, select text. Come down to the title here and click once. Capital letters, we're just going to write one by one Lego brick. And again, highlight that text, make it nice and big at 6.1. Press escape to turn off the text tool and that'll give you the option to pick it up now and just move it into a better position. Okay, last thing we want to do is just dimension this shape, so this shouldn't take us too long. Just in case someone wants to draw it or see the dimensions. In the annotate tab at the top, click on the dimension button. I might start with the circles. Just click and drag out to show the radius. Ah oh, sorry, the diameter Oops, of the two circles. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, while we're doing some dimensions, we'll do the side here so we can get the height. Okay, okay. We want to get the height of that little bump as well. Click OK. We want to get the um, the shell from inside there. And that should say 8.20 for that size. Actually, what I might do is just delete that one. Oops. Just click on it, press delete. Instead of doing that, I might just do the distance between these two lines. 0.8. Looks a bit better. Um, what else do we need to do? We need to do the sides up here. So I'll just dimension that side there. It shows that it's 8 mil. I think we've pretty much got everything done now. Oh, actually, we probably should do the distance of the circle to the edge of the page. Let's see if that wants to work for us. There it is. Um, probably not in the best position, but I'll just bring it out there. Alright, so we've dimensioned our shape now. We've told people how big everything is, so that looks pretty good. So make sure you save that up. Uh, we'll just call that one by one. I can't spell today. Brick. And click save. So that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one when we create a few more Lego shapes.